So in this lesson, we're going to add a beer bottle that we can shoot. And uh, have explode. We'll probably do this effect on some other things too. And you, once you shoot it, you can keep shooting the other pieces. I don't know why it's still up in the air. Let's see if we need to add some gravity to that one. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go get the model that I have up. And I created a folder called Models. Right click, create folder, name it Models. And then just go, um, let's see, get this model here. It's in Google Classroom. Download it. And then just drag it in. Just go here and then drag it into your models. Okay, once it's here, you're going to then drag it up here. So here's mine right here. Okay, so drag it up and you see it has 14 individual pieces for it. So anyway, um... Let's see, we're going to make a tag for this beer bottle called beer. So you're going to go add tag and hit the plus button and then type in beer with a capital B and put it upside there. Um, on these individual parts, you're going to add a mesh collider. So you type in mesh, collider right there. You're going to make sure it's convex. So mesh collider convex. You're then going to add a rigid body. Same thing, add component rigid body. You're going to make the mass 5. Um, and you're going to check is kinematic. So the max 5 here and is kinematic. Okay, we're making those changes. Okay, so then um, we need to uh, write a script. So we're going to go to the scripts folder. And we're going to write a beer bottle script, which I think I'll give you. So you don't have to write it. Uh, let's see if it opens. Okay, so um, if I give it to you, then remember you're just going to copy this. Notice there is no void start or void update. Um, you can get rid of those for this one. Again, do not touch this. So you're going to create the script called beer bottle, and then you're going to start pasting what I have here. Okay run inside here and then save it so there's no uh, void start or void update in this one all we need is this we're creating a public function called shatter so um we're going to use just use that now we have to go to our bullet script and you can either create a new one i think i have a bullet new inside here uh in addition to that, let's see what I got. Yeah, I got a bullet. I got bullet old. So you can create a new one called bullet new if you want to, but make sure if you do, it goes on your on your prefab also. Or you can just update the script you have, which is what I did. So this is my bullet script. And I did not remove anything. I did change this, though. I can't remember if we changed this or not, but make sure. I think we had we hit here. I have object we hit. So if you don't have that, make sure you're going to put it in for all of these. Object we hit, object we hit, object we hit, object we hit. And also for the wall, object we hit, object we hit. And then you're going to add this part. And it's right below hitting the wall. So it's going to let us know we hit the bare bottle. Okay, 
it's going to uh, destroy it. So, and I don't think we're printing it this day. We are going to print it. So if I go to my game and go here, you can see I hit the beer bottle. So I take that back. We are going to print it just so we know we hit it. Then make sure if we hit it and something doesn't happen, we know we, at least we're hitting it. There's something else inside there. So you can copy this um, here. Let's see if you can do this. I don't want to put it inside there. I'm going to see if you can do it. So you're going to take your existing bullet script or bullet new script, whatever it is. You're going to copy the part about the wall. And then you're going to paste it right below the last curly bracket here. Not the final curly bracket, but right below the second curly bracket. And this is the wall. So you're just going to go here and keep it exactly the same. Put beer inside there. You're going to keep this line the same, print, hit a beer bottle, okay? So those things all stay the same when you copy and paste, but this part's going to change. We're not going to have that. So in this case, you're going to have this. And again, object we hit, game object, component. When we hit the beer bottle, we're going to go back and shatter it, which is what we had in the beer bottle script. Make sure you get this right. Those are periods. Yeah, so um, move it over a little bit. So you're gonna you're gonna be typing this object. We hit game object component beer bottle. We're gonna shatter the beer bottle and then destroy it. We're gonna destroy the game object. Okay. So we're changing our bullet script, saving it, and then we make sure that's on the prefab. Okay. And then the beer bottle script. So the beer bottle script, of course, is gonna go on the beer bottle. It's going to go on the beer bottle. And then um, I went in here and typed all parts of 14. So you're going to click on the beer bottle. This is my duplicate, so ignore this one. And you're going to type in 14 because there's 14 parts here. And then you may have to go pick them. So you may have to go pick each one individually. Sorry, but it's the way it has to be done. So we'll make sure we break each little piece. So while you're on the beer bottle, you're going to click in 14, type in 14, and then click on these and choose 1, 2, 3 through 14. Got to choose all these. I don't think you can drag them over either. You might be able to. Didn't work for me. So anyway, make sure you make that change. Okay. So we've got our beer bottle script on. We've got it tagged as beer. We got our... <laughs> Uh, rigid body and mesh collider convex on this one. And we've got our new bullet script. So if I go to my prefabs, bullet, I got my bullet script there. So remember, I saved that. I saved it so it automatically updated it. If you put a new one, like bullet new, then you got to go back to your prefab and remove this one and put the new bullet script inside there. Okay. Okay, so, um, and I think the beer, make sure this has overrides on it. Yeah, overrides. I think you can hit revert all, but make sure this says overrides on the beer. Here, okay. All right, so now we need a um, material. So we're going to go to materials and create bottle. I named mine bottle green. Uh, I don't care what you call yours, but uh, bottle green. And um, I chose green. So choose whatever green you want. I sort of like the green I have. And I went and made it metallic all the way over. And I made this smoothness all the way over. And you can fool around with this. There is no right or wrong. And you can change it around, whatever you want to do. And then, but when you go here, you want to highlight all these, those. And then you want to add component. And you want to add the bottle green. So you would add component and... Uh, Uh, 
Or maybe I dragged it. I'm, I take that back. So I went here, got all 14 of these, and I just dragged this on. I just dragged this to right at component, and there it is, right there, bottle green. And it's using URP, so make sure you're using that too. And I think that's it. Now, my beer bottle, when I brought it in, I made it 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. I think it's like one when you bring it in. It may be pretty big. You can fool around with that. I think I might make mine 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.5. 0.5 and 0.5 and I think I got to move it up some let's see how that one compares to the other one I like that better so now when I go up I don't quite see why they're staying up in the air. Yeah, they shouldn't be staying up there, but we'll figure that out. <coughs> we do have a rigid body. We have gravity being used. So I'm going to have to check that out. So, but you can shoot it. And you can also shoot the pieces as you're coming across with it. So we can break it up. Knocking them down. Now some of you that don't have the bullet hole, make sure in your prefab bullet you have the newest script. It's in Google Classroom. The newest bullet script. There's a new one up there. Make sure you've updated this on your bullet prefab. If you named it something else, put the new one on. If you revised it, make sure it sh still, sh still shows bullet. You should have a um, global references. Global references empty and global references. This is in Google Classroom. Also script on the global references. And your prefab. This is under effects. Your bullet impact uh, stone effect prefab. So the main when you're on this, you're going to drag. I have three of these because I didn't delete the other one. But bullet stone. And this is bullet stone impaler, uh, prefab right there. So when I click there, I'm going to drag this up here and get it to go. So other than that, you should be seeing bullet holes. And you should be blowing up the uh, uh, bottles. And then slowly but surely... We will get to where we get a gun. So we already have a gun. But I'm going to go get a gun and get it going. Make sure you save a scene. I did not save a scene. Um, and someone turned my computer off. And I'll make this a one. And I lost everything. So, yeah, they clicked on the little button there. So make sure you're saving the scene as you're working. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions.